the esteemed company of Kapil Dev, Ravi Shastri, Arun Jaitli, Krishnamajari Srikant, you know, the who's who here of, of India in a sense. To all of us who enjoy your cricket so much, you know, what is the next milestone that you have for you? Any targets that you've set for yourself? No targets, no expectations. Um, I'm still a, a typical Delhi boy at heart, so I cannot express what I'm feeling standing here mm. because wherever I might be in life, I, I always remember where I come from and what I've gone through to be where I am. So that never goes away from me. And I'm, I'm still very nervous and excited to be standing on this stage, sharing it with such uh, great people. But um, as I said, no expectations, no milestones. I, the, the simple mindset is I, I just go out there to do my duty. I don't believe in tags. I don't believe in comparisons. For me, the joy of life is just watching that ball and hitting it in the middle of the bat. I thought it was also about, you know, being a part of the same ad that Kapil Paji started off. Boost is the secret of his energy. <laughs> and boost is the secret now of your energy. I mean, all of us grew up looking at Kapil Dev being the brand ambassador. Sir, your, your thoughts on, on Virat Kohli? <laughs> Thank God he is playing now. <laughs> Had he played in during my time, they should have, everybody would have called him JB. Behind the back, they should be called Jadbuddhi and front of James Bond because <laughs> the fitness was so important to me also. And whenever we used to talk about fitness, they said Jadbuddhi hai, pagal ho gaya hamara kaptan. And, and I'm so happy to see that he raised the bar so much and made, you know, its count. One of the best talented people also not picked for the team because they are not fit enough to play. And they used to call, no, cricket, you don't have to be fit. You should be talented enough to get runs and take wickets. I think that's where he changed it. And I can't say how happy I feel about that. It is fantastic to, to raise the bar, not in cricket, in sports in our country, because everybody look up to him. I also look up to him. And when somebody like him say, no, the fitness is the most important thing, I think the next generation listen much carefully. So I must ask you, sir, in your, in your playing days, uh, ek cricket ground ke aap kitne round laga sakte the? in your playing days, how many rounds could you run around the cricket field, around the boundary line? I, I think every individual. I wouldn't say. If he can but do I'm just saying, I don't know how many rounds can, can you run. Me? Yeah, around the, around the field. Um, 20, 30? I don't know. I mean... If, if it's about uh, making the team win, I can run till I fall, but <laughs> I'm not sure about otherwise. <laughs> okay. No, I think, I think it's very important. Every what, if he can run 10 rounds and he can run 15 rounds, it's entirely individual body. You can't say because he can lift 100 kgs, I have to lift 110 kgs. No, yeah. everybody have to find their own ability, own strength and work on that. Uh, that is important. You know, I must ask Ravi Shasi, and again, ladies and gentlemen, I want to say that this is such a great occasion, you know, where we have the captain, coach, former captain, and the finance minister himself in this capacity today as a cricket admirer and promoter of uh, cricket. All of them are at the same stage. Ravi, you know, from, from your end, you know, as a, uh, as a cricket coach, everyone is talking so highly of Virat Kohli. Let me flip that question. What's the one thing, that one area where you think Virat still needs to improve? I think the X factor is that he leads from the front. You know, he puts his head on the line. And uh, if he cannot do something, he will not ask anyone else to do it. And that is the biggest difference. You know, because uh, Mithali touched on uh, fitness, Kapil touched on fitness. You know, where he's raised the bar is that there's often uh, an argument. Is skill more important or fitness more important in cricket? Now, what he's done by emphasizing on fitness or taking fitness to that level, he's optimized the skill element of a player. Mm. So when the Indian team sees him putting in the yards, then they want to emulate him. Every player in the team wants to do the same thing. You know, and then you can see the difference in their performance because the skill was there. Mm. You, you don't play for India if you don't have the skill. Mm. But then if you back it with fitness, then you will do things as a player which you would never believe you could have done. I must ask, you know, you've, uh, you've seen Sachin Tendulkar grow. Now Virat Kohli, you're the, you're the coach for Virat Kohli. If, uh, it's, it's a, I know it's a great news headline to make, but I'm not looking for that. 
I just want to, I just want to have some insights from you between Virat Kohli and Sachin Tendulkar. Is there any difference in their styles, their approach to the game, dressing room? See, if you look at Sachin, Sachin was complete. He was a coaching manual. You know, his technique was right out of a coaching manual. Virat can be unorthodox, can be very unorthodox and mighty effective. You know, as his record shows. So you know, they are two different players, but uh, both mightily effective. Hmm. Okay. You know, a lot of a lot of our audiences, Virat, have so many questions to ask out of you. So what I'll do is I'll just uh, you you can keep the mic. Uh, I'll, I'll give you the mic. Okay, Shreya, Shreya, you're there. Hi, Bupen. Two yeah. lovely ladies and two questions. I'm not sure whether they'll qualify as lovely, but please go ahead. Congratulations, Virat. Thank you. And this question is just off the field. We would like to know: Are you getting hitched this year? Oh, <laughs> once again. This question will not go away from you, Virat. I have been asked this so many times. One thousand times. And people have told me that I am. And I tell yeah. them, please tell me the venue and date so I can reach on time. Okay, another question, Manushi Chiller. Uh, hi, Virat. Firstly, congratulations. Um, um, the question that I want to ask you is that uh, you are one of the best uh, batsmen in the world today. And you've been such an inspiration. You've really given back to the society. But there are a lot of young people who draw inspiration from you. So, um, how would you like to give back to, uh, especially for children in the field of cricket? Well, um, see, what's very important to um, understand is when you do what you do um, and you express yourself on the field, it has to be genuine, it has to be from the heart. Otherwise, people find out that you're trying to pretend and they can never connect to you. Um, I've never tried to be anyone else. I've always been myself. Uh, I've always mentioned people had a lot of issues with how I was, how I conducted myself, but I had never had any problems with that. The moment I started thinking that I need to change is the only time that I changed. And everyone has to go through a mutual process to be where they get to in life, to become more mature. Um, but what, what's very important to understand is one should never lose their own identity and character and personality. Because if you try to be someone else, you can never succeed and you can never inspire others. And also, the one thing that I believe in is that there's something much stronger that's making us do what we do. Um, we ourselves don't have the ability to go out there and score runs and take wickets all the time. So we must believe that everyone has a plan and that plan has been executed for them at the time that they're in. And all they can do is work hard. No one can change the plan. What we can do is work hard and be honest to ourselves. That's about it. Virat, a final question for you, and it's from Ayaz Mehman. Virat, uh, you know, you, you're, you're articulating a lot of thoughts and issues, which are really, to me, uh, you know, suggesting a very statesman-like look at the game. You've talked about the need for playing test cricket when you met the Delhi boys yesterday, and emphasizing with the kids and the youngsters, and obviously you've uh, talked about player fatigue and what needs to be done, a balance, work-life balance, about how the state of Indian cricket is. Do you see yourself as a statesman for the game? India is the most important country for the sport today. It's the most powerful, it's the richest, it's the biggest, and you've got the status and the stature now to do it. Also, would you like to see cricket becoming a part of the Olympics? There's a lot of talk going on in the background, but some effort needs to be made, I think, perhaps from India. Um, look, if, if the sport is um, added to Olympics, obviously the players would love to play it because, uh, you know, that just globalizes the game to another level. I don't know how far or how close we are to doing that, but as a cricketer, I would love to be a part of it if it's included. Answering your first question, um, I think it's very important to voice what needs to be voiced when you're in a position where you can help others. I feel where I have been put and it's, again, I, I would like to mention that again, I've been put here by something much stronger. It's not in my ability to um, plan that I'll be India captain one day. I never thought in my wildest dreams. So I've been put here for a reason. And that reason is that it's an opportunity. It's an opportunity to do the right thing, to make a positive change around me, with my teammates, with the support staff that I work with, and take Indian cricket forward and leave it in a better place than what I entered it. So that is the mindset that I carry forward. Who will be the CNN News 18 Indian of the Year 2022? Catch the grand finale of the most awaited news event of the year 
on 12th October, 6pm onwards, only on CNN News 18.